Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. And today we're gonna to be covering one of the most controversial wide receivers in the entire draft. He also happens to be one of my personal favorites and that is Keishon Butte from LSU. He's had a very up and down college career. He started out kind of slow as a freshman and then had an immense 308 receiving yard game against Ole Miss. That game was good for an SEC single game record, 308 total yards, absolute savage. He did that at 18 years old. Keep in mind, he's breaking this record where there's players like Justin Jefferson, Jamar Chase, Julio Jones, Amari Cooper, Devontae Smith, all those receivers were in the SEC and he goes and breaks the single game receiving record as an 18 year old. There was a lot to like about his profile early in his career, but his sophomore year, he ended up having to have an ankle surgery. It cut his season a bit short, but then in his final year as a junior, he kind of fizzled out. He didn't have an oppressive year at all. There were some effort concerns. It was a brand new offense. His quarterback didn't do him any help. It just seemed like it was a mess there for LSU for a little while. Looking at his profile, there's not a whole lot that just jumps right out at you. He had a pretty impressive true freshman season. He then followed it up with a good six games as a sophomore. He was able to put up nine touchdowns in just six games. But then this past year, he just fizzled out completely and accounted for just two touchdowns on the season. Before we get into it, here he is right here. He comes in at six foot, just about 200 pounds. He has really good size for a receiver. He's really twitchy off the line, got some speed. So we're going to get right into it. First play here. He breaks outside there and he catches the ball nice with his hands. We love seeing that right off the bat. He does a good job of attacking the leverage and then breaking outside. And he, we like to see him catch the ball away from his body. Bottom of the screen, man coverage. Oh, his little pick with the referee there, but he's got the speed. He's got the jets. Yeah, watch how he just, he breaks it. Oh man, that ref is in the worst spot. That was a good job. He's got some speed to break that though. This might be one of Butte's most impressive plays. He's going to get a little curl route. Then he's just going to create after the catch curl back he catches it with his hands nice oh man he's got good burst to get to the goal line there watch the balance here get off me boy get off me two stiff arms little tiptoeing on the sideline and he's got the burst to get to the touchdown here great job here he is he just kind of jogs here to find a nice soft spot in the defense and it's just a layup touchdown here it's nothing too impressive but Good body control there to stay in bounds. That's an easy layup touchdown. They got him in motion for a little push pass. He's got the burners. Yeah, he just beats him to the edge. He didn't look crazy fast there, but I like that they use him in different ways. Here he is. Watch him just destroy the safety's leverage. This is sick. He just comes right across the safety's face and just destroys the leverage for a touchdown here. Safety had all the leverage. Oh man. Here he is, bottom of the screen. This is a huge play because he's lined up against Emerson Jr. We just covered him on our channel. I think he's a very good corner. He just destroys his man coverage here, and it's just, oh, it's nice. I love it. This is good stuff. High level play against a, a really good corner. Just see ya. Put up the deuces. Effortless strides. He looks like he's not trying. It's weird. Here's a better angle of it right here, bottom of the screen. Fake it outside. Oh, man. Yeah, here he is top of the screen. He's lined up against an NFL corner right here. This is Roger McCreary. Hit him with the burst. Good yak. He's got good, he, he definitely has good long speed. Watch him just hit the gear as soon as he catches this ball. He just goes, bang, full speed. Yeah, we like that speed. Here we go, right here. He's getting a fade in double coverage. Come down with that. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Watch the discipline to watch this ball come down. That was such a dot, but he's just so patient with that. Great concentration. That's awesome. This clip right here starts halfway through the play, but he's somewhere up here. This is the play that he gets hurt, which ultimately ends his season. He has to have ankle surgery, but just watch the skills here, man. The hands catch, the body control, he gets the two toes in, he busts his freaking ankle, but he was competing for this ball. Watch this thing. Impressive. Really good body control. That was his highlight tape, but we're going to show you all of that Ole Miss game where he went for 308 yards. This man didn't have the craziest production, so his highlight tape isn't the longest, but I just wanted to share this game with you as well. Top of the screen here, gets off press. The yak, man. 
the acceleration after that. And he's fighting for the yards. Oh, he's a little slow across the middle, waiting for the ball there. And the yak again, once again. He's so good after the catch. He's top of the screen. That's a rocket. Put it right on his chest. Couple extra yards of yak there too. Bottom of the screen. Wide open. He just beat some coverage. Bottom of the screen. Get it right on him, Max. Here comes some yards after the catch. I love the play speed. He plays really fast. Like, not a crazy blazer, but really fast. He's used all over. Middle of the field, boundary. Yeah, there, I love getting him in stride. Getting the ball in his hands in stride. I love that. Fight for this touchdown. Ah, uh, there's fucking five defenders there. He looks complete to me. He looks like a complete receiver. Put it right on him. Yes, break that. Good shit. That's that stuff. That's superpowers. That's a superhuman right there. That looks like Jamar Chase with that number one on his jersey, man. He was that dude that day. He was that dude. This was when he was 18 years old, 308 yards. So we saw a few different things from Keishon Butte. We saw plucky hands. He really liked to go get the ball with his hands. I don't think we saw any body catches really. He had really good speed. I think probably mid four fours would be fine. I don't think he's a four three guy. He had a really good ability to make the first defender miss. He really created right after the catch. We didn't see any crazy moves after the catch, but he has a lot of speed. He definitely has like game breaking ability there. A lot of slants to the house. I liked his body size at six foot around 200 pounds. He can really shrug off the defender. To me, he really looks like a complete wide receiver. He seemed like a pretty refined route runner. He was real twitchy at the top of his breaks. I don't know. There's a lot to like. I think the film is fun with this guy, even though his production wasn't super crazy. Now, a comp I have yet to hear for Keishon Booty is Rashad Bateman. I really like to come up with comparisons that I don't hear all the time. A lot of people like to compare him to Stefan Diggs. So I think Rashad Bateman kind of fits the bill. Bateman was a guy who could take slants to the house in college. He had one really, really good year. And then his other two years were a little bit confused one of which was a COVID year, so the production wasn't great. And then the other was when he was a true freshman. He didn't put up the craziest stats in college, but he possessed a lot of the same skill set. He had nice hands catching. He was exceptionally good at breaking the first tackle, but he wasn't like the most elusive, powerful running back with the ball in his hands, you know? He really just used his speed to break angles and create big plays for his offense. These were Bateman's production numbers. You can see like an efficient, true freshman year just like Boutte had and then you had a really good high touchdown season his second year in the league Bateman did put up more yardage that year but Boutte hurt his ankle you can't forget about that and then he kind of fizzled out his final year he wasn't super productive but this was the COVID year for Bateman just like Boutte had that weird junior year so they really had like one and a half years of really good production they put up really good tape and then their final year in college they were just kind of blah so let's take a minute or two to watch some of Rashad Bateman I remember watching his highlights I was absolutely obsessed with this guy I thought he he was like the instant fix at wide receiver for any team. And I don't see why Keishon Butte can't be the same thing. Top of the screen here. Getting off press quick. Well, we didn't see Butte do that, but there were no contested catches in his tape. Above the rim player Bateman was, huh? Damn, he was impressive. Now, Butte can jump. He definitely has some ups. He's definitely a good athlete. That's good catching traffic. They kind of look about the same size in pads. Downfield, wide open. They look about the same speed. They look very similar in speed there. I remember this exact play. This is the one I fell in love with. And that is something that Bo we just watched Butte do that. We just watched him do that. That long speed. He just, he hits the accelerator and goes. Little hitch, make the first defender miss, set up the other guy, and then he hits the gas so fast. Bateman's going to be good eventually. He's going to be so good. All right, last play right here. He's in the slot. This is another slant. I remember this one. I remember that tape. 
Yeah, he's got the quickness. So Keishan Butte, a lot to like on tape. The production wasn't crazy, but that's not all we look for. Someone who can go in as an 18 year old and put up 308 yards. He's got to have everyone's attention. He did fall off a little bit, but we'll give him a pass. I'm really excited to see him at the combine and see how fast he is. I'd love to see his 10 yard split because he feels really bursty. That first two steps is really fast. You know, I don't think the Bateman comparison's perfect, but no comparison's going to be perfect. I think they have a lot of similarities in style. Bateman ended up falling a little farther than we thought in the draft, but he still ended up being a day one selection. We could see the same thing happen with Butte. Right now, he's slotted in to be like a day two guy. I think the people who grind the tape and watch him at the combine may consider him day one. I think he's a really good player. His upside is immense and about every team in the NFL could benefit from this guy on their roster. All right, everyone. Hopefully you guys like watching Keishan Butte. I'm really looking forward to seeing him in the combine and hoping we hear his name on day one. All right, boys. Peace.